Let me start you with a quote. This is from Sylvan Whitwer. He's an agronomist who serves as director of the Agricultural Experiment Station at um, uh, Michigan State University. He said, it should be considered good fortune that we are living in a world of gradually increasing levels of atmospheric CO2. The rising level of atmospheric CO2 in a universally pre-premium, gaining in magnitude with time in which we can all reckon for the foreseeable future. Well, let's look at somebody on the opposite side of the spectrum. This is Ms. Janine Benyus. She's the Rachel Carson Environmental Ethics Award winner. I'll let you think about that for a moment. She said, organisms don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral, think of it as a building block. And indeed, if you think about uh, photosynthesis, we need carbon dioxide, we need water, we need energy, and we put together the sugars that essentially makes life and makes, makes life grow. This is a famous shot from uh, Sherwood Itso. Here is ambient CO2. He took a little seedling, grew it in 350 parts per million. Uh, by a certain time, it had grown to the size of about up to his belt buckle. Uh, one growing at 500 parts per million had grown up to sort of the middle of his chest. One growing in 650 parts per million had grown to about the top of his uh, neck and one growing at about uh, 800 parts per million are essentially grown to about the size of him. So more carbon dioxide provides more building blocks and we know that plants therefore tend to grow more. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberty, and more videos like this one.